Welcome back. Here with me now is Jamie Ebesmeyer for the Missouri Department of Conservation to talk about performing breeding bird surveys for quails. Now, Jamie, tell me a little bit about this because I'm not familiar with this. Well, what we want to do is we want to do quail surveys this time of the year because this is when the males are out being most active trying to solicit hens to come to them. So, of course, they can breed for this year's population. Okay, and so what, what goes into it? Well, what you do is you, you go out to your property and uh, you establish a point from which you're going to do these surveys every year. And what you do is you go out and you sit there for five minutes and then you listen for five minutes. And basically you just count how many of those male birds you hear whistling off in the distance. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put you on the spot. Uh, can you do the whistle? I can try. Okay. It's, uh, it's kind of a poor Bob White is what it is. So it's a has that Bob White sound to it. Okay, so when you hear that, you, you're like, all right, I, there's one. That's right, and what you can do is in that five minutes, you can go around in all the cardinal directions and just figure out whether you have two, three, four, or five birds out there whistling. All right, so how are, are a lot of people performing these surveys? And the, They are, especially if they're a landowner that's been doing mm -hmm. habitat work or thinking about doing habitat work on their property. Um, one of the things that they do is, is they want to know whether they're being successful or mm -hmm. not with all their activities. So if you can do a baseline survey like this right before you do okay. your work, then you know in years in the future whether you're being successful or not. All right, and so what is the quail population uh, around this area at the moment? The, the quail population has been on a decline over the last 10 to 20 years, um, and that has a lot to do with some of the farming practices. We're going into bigger fields. Okay. We don't have as much edge habitat, which these birds utilize for their uh, living purposes. But uh, there are some work being done out there that, that can be done to help bring them back. All right, so why have turkeys seemingly replaced quail in many areas? Well, a lot of people ask me that question, and, and one of the reasons is, is that the habitat has actually changed to be more uh, turkey-type habitat. Okay. Instead of having the smaller shrubs and trees, which quail like to utilize for their protective cover, we now have a lot of taller trees, which is better for turkey habitat. All right, so is there like something that, um, I don't know, we can do to, you know, kind of help control like these predators for them, or is this just kind of? Yes, the best thing we can do is we can provide that good habitat that quail need. Uh, predators have been around forever. Quail have dealt with predators forever. But when we start taking away that good habitat that allows the birds to uh, reproduce well and to produce more young, then we don't have those birds that the predators can consume, but also survive for the next year. Okay, you know, we've been talking a lot about, uh, you know, the weather here in the Heartland has been pretty crazy the last month, you know, with all the storms and everything. What is this doing for the quail population? It, when we have these, these strong storms early in the spring, um, that tends to be a, a negative impact on the mm -hmm. quail, just simply because these birds are, are ground nesting birds, which means that they, they actually build that nest right on the ground. So when we have a hard rain, that comes along it can actually have a obviously a negative impact on that nest but then also as it stays cold those young chicks that have hatched out don't have that energy reserve to combat that cold and they'll actually die of hypothermia oh wow um so what what does the missouri department of conservation um do for quail well what we do is is we have private land conservationists which are basically biologists that can go out and they can work with landowners um, review their property figure out what it is that might be missing out there that the quail need and then we can recommend some new practices for them to implement. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here and we will put all this information on heartlandconnection.com and we will be right back. Thank you.